In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a sidebar menu with these animated interactive icons. If you'd like to see how these icons are created, you can check the link in the description or go to my channel to watch them. This is just a final video where I assemble all of them and build this interaction. If you'd like to reuse this sidebar menu in your own project, also check the link in the description that will take you to my store. I'm going to import all of these uh, icons onto my frame and make sure they are aligned. I'm going to move them closer together to be around 16, 15 pixels apart and move them over here. Now, just so that you can see how this works, if we open the prototype, you can hover over these icons. They react to your hovering and then you can click on them. That will take you to uh, these individual sections of our fictional app. I also imported a placeholder profile picture, which in this case is going to be a logo of this channel could work for now. Awesome, and we're gonna create a sidebar. So I'm gonna use the rectangle tool to create a sidebar. I'm gonna move that to the background so that it's beneath all of these remaining icons. And it's gonna be white. Background of this, however, is not gonna be white. That's gonna be like light gray or something. Maybe we will use an effect like a drop shadow to add some depth very subtle i'm actually not sure about the size of the logo so about this big i don't know and we're gonna have to do a bit of a modification to these interactive components we're gonna have to remove the interaction where it will take you from the hover state to the active state because we will be deciding on our own when these active states will appear and not this this is not going to be determined by the component and also the interaction that's going to trigger when you leave the active state when your mouse leaves the active state i'm going to remove all of that so now the only interaction that remains within the the component is hover so you no longer can click it you can just hover i'm going to use a rectangle to experiment with this shaping of the background that I had in mind previously. Let's just see if this is viable and if this will look good actually. Um, so I, the idea here is that if you actually, I'm gonna copy this frame. If we select the profile, it's gonna expand obviously to this state, but also there's gonna be a little bulge in the background, right? So this is gonna, this thing's gonna happen. That could be achieved by using a union so i'm gonna merge these shapes i'm gonna also increase the corner rounding to about this much and increase the corners of this the part of the union of the merge shape to around 80 so that it, this is completely rounded but this is just maintains its own value and the idea here is that this will be like first of all i'm gonna just do this Right. So the idea here is if there are no icons selected, then this is the state of the sidebar, right? It's hidden as if it's not even two merged shapes. But when you actually activate one of these icons, it's gonna do this fun thing where it's gonna pop up like this or also gonna be changed to active right you know what i had in mind something like we get a behavior we don't want so the solution could be drinking this to just around 130. i kind of like how it's how it's not completely on background you know what i'm saying i like how this overlaps into the empty space we're gonna do some experiments with the, with that over there so in this state it's gonna be like hidden i'm gonna copy this and then paste that here move that into the background and then just move this rectangle all the way all the way here kind of like this i kind of like how this how at first it's right at the edge and then it moves and merges with the background yeah i kind of like this you have to go to prototype and then select this user profile icon click and drag over here and say on click navigate to this frame and it's going to be smart animate let's see how this looks now so hover click oops 
All right, so something's wrong with the background interaction. I think the problem uh, could be that it's changing sizes. To make sure it's not changing sizes, first of all, I'm gonna extend this all the way to be 330 pixels, and then here as well. And then we're gonna have one rectangle within the union, rectangle 22, that's gonna be way, way further down. It will be like outside the frame and it's gonna be like all the way like this, for example. This means that whatever happens now, however these, these bulges move, it will maintain its size and therefore its position. So now we're gonna just copy this and paste that here, move that into the background and just select the rectangle 21 and move that, move that as we did previously. It's gonna be 10 pixels taller. So this is gonna be 110, 110. Let's try this out. All right, so it seems that we don't get Figma to do this animation when it's a union. We're gonna probably have to go for a simple, for a simple fade in as shown here. So it just sort of fades in, the background sort of changes into this shape. But never mind, this is still, this still looks good. I'm gonna add a shadow to the sidebar background, like 10% opacity, eight, something like that. Copy that, paste here. But something's wrong with the way that this inter, uh, this interactive icon is behaving. So you can see that, you can see that for some reason it reverts back to the default state and then starts to transition into an active state. But we want this icon to transition directly from hover state directly to an active state. So why don't we try and turn all of this into a component? Um, so I'm just gonna select this thing, copy it here, then press Command Option G to turn this into a frame. Uh, make sure it's all constrained to the left and top of the frame. Name this sidebar menu and then just move the constraints here and then like ten here maybe. This whole thing should be 900 pixels tall. So I'm just gonna turn this to 900, select all of these and move them up a little bit. Also, I'm gonna select clip content on the frame so that everything is now hidden. You could take all of this and move that over here, which now is starting to look like an actual a sidebar. And each of these, each of these locations will be one active state of this component. We're gonna turn this into a sidebar menu component where when we add another variant, we can like specify that this is profile, activate icon, and also move this all the way here, right? So this is now gonna be like state of the sidebar component. And we can just use an instance of this and say home, and then we can copy this and say profile, where we switch the state of the sidebar menu to profile. We're gonna also change our property in the sidebar menu to say location, location, and just do the prototyping here, where when we click this, it will take us to here. So on-click navigate to profile, smart animate. It still didn't solve the problem with the icon, but we do have a sidebar menu component now, which will definitely be useful, so that's that's good. We might just have to deal with the fact that when we click this, uh, it's actually gonna, you know, there's gonna be the problem with the icon that I mentioned earlier. So while we are at this, I'm just gonna create additional pages for our fictional app. So this is home, profile, analytics, or uh, content, actually dashboard, content, analytics, profile, settings, and that's it. Um, I'm gonna change, so all of these except the profile one are gonna be default because we don't have a state for that one yet. But what, what I wanna do is actually switch these icons. So I don't wanna have, first should be dashboard, then that there should be content, then analytics, profile, and then settings. Yeah, it automatically updates here 
on all these places so that's good and i'm gonna also switch the order of these to reflect this dashboard content analytics profile settings good and this thing right here should also change this little bulge like this right so now the order is switched i'm gonna create a variant of this this is gonna be content um, and not surprisingly the content is actually going to be active the profile is going to be default then another state that will be analytics Right, and we're gonna name this not location four, but analytics profile that's already finished. Then settings, so settings gonna be active. Also this bulge is gonna move to settings. And the only state missing now is the dashboard. So again, copy, location dashboard, location settings here as well. And we're gonna change that to active. This one will be default and move this thing. So we now have all the states. I'm gonna tidy up a little bit like this. Okay, and these locations now need to reflect the state or the state of the sidebar now needs to reflect the location. So dashboard, that's gonna be dashboard. Content is gonna be content. Analytics, that's gonna be analytics. Profile, that's gonna be stay the same. And then settings, right? And also on the icon, we would like to set up the prototype so that when you click it, it goes to a location. And that would be the dashboard going from the hover state here we'll keep that at smart animate content that's the same and then analytics from the from the hover state right um, from analytics that's gonna go over to analytics smart animate easy and out 200 profile again the same and then finally settings what this means what we did just now when we actually hover over an icon and then we click it it should take us to the respective location let's see if that's the case and it is. And we're also gonna set the prototype that when you click the profile picture, it's gonna take you back home. And the only flaw we have right now that we weren't able to fix is that when you hover over an icon and then you click it, it actually briefly switches back to the default state. But I think that's a, that's a, um, that's a flaw that we can tolerate because it actually looks as if it's being pressed down so we're gonna we're gonna go for the classic it's not a bug it's a, it's a feature and this is it this is the result we have a menu we have a sidebar menu with animated icons that react to your hovering when you click on each of those it animates into a new state and also takes you to a different location when you click on other icons there is nice animation and everything it looks very smooth everything falls in together nicely now when we click this icon we revert back to the initial page and as i said if you would like to see how i created these individual icons check the link in the description below this is just a final video where i assemble all of them and build this interaction so if you'd like to get the source file for this make sure to check the link in the description below that will take you to my store where I offer source files at very affordable prices. If you like this video, if you like this walkthrough and you would like to see more content like this, definitely leave a like. And if you're into Figma and UX, UI and digital design, definitely subscribe and check out my channel where I do plenty of tutorials on these topics. So again, I hope you like this. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.